Little Debbie Christmas tree cakes are such a fun and iconic part of Christmas. We love them in our house. And I'm gonna try to recreate one in crushed glass. Let's see how I did. All right, so I am going to, I think, sketch um, sketch a Christmas tree out with a pencil. All right. I'm just going to eyeball a quick sketch here. Not meant to be exact. I just want to have some fun. So somebody did suggest maybe putting a layer of Mod Podge down first. And just outline it maybe. Oh gosh. So... I think this is just going to help the glass not run everywhere when I put it down. I'm going to use the white glass, but I really want to sift out some of the bigger pieces. And you'll see um, in just a minute. Let me turn my light on. My light's not even on. Is it? I guess it is. So see how some of this stuff, like it's really chunky. That's how thick some of the bottle glass is. And I don't want to use that. It's not sharp. Don't don't freak out. So see some of this stuff is really really fine, and I don't want to use that. And I don't even know if I want to use this. I feel like it needs to be, I uh, really want to make it out of glass. Really want to make it out of glass, but not the big, big stuff. So all I'm doing here is sifting out really big stuff. Really big stuff. You know, I, I do not wear gloves. This is not very sharp glass at all. However, if you have concerns about being cut, then by all means, wear protective gloves. By all means. Now, some of this glass is not belonging here. And some of it looks like it might be a little bit blue. I don't know why I have blue pieces in there, but. Okay. Use a cup. I'm just going to use a cup here. Another big piece. I'm going to get the glass down where I want it, following 
following the you know the path of what I've drawn there. It's the glue, and it is keeping. I mean, it is keeping it somewhat in place. And I'm going to get my small popsicle stick. I don't like this leaf. I don't know what that leaf is doing in there. There's a little piece of green. Actually, the green I need. All right, let's form the top. And then this little side piece here, that little side branch, it kind of dips. We need that here. Pretty good there. Okay, that's a pretty good shape, I think. I think it's a good shape. Okay. And now I am going to go mix up some resin. I have the glass kind of thick. So I'm going to mix up 20 milliliters. Um, or should I use Mod Podge? Mix Mod Podge with water. spoon but basically we are going to spoon the Mod Podge down now what I want to do first I think is I want to go ahead see the little green um, I guess this is like what the little sprinkles green sprinkles and I'm going to use um, I'm going to use this tube confetti just a little bit for the green sprinkles and then i don't know yet what i'm going to use for the red piping i don't know yet um I just made a mess i may have to go to joanne and pick some up because what i would like to use is something something really shiny like um like something with rhinestone There are our sprinkles. And, you know, I could almost use the red tube confetti that I have right here. But I don't know. I'll come up with something else. I'm going to get this down first. And so the plan is you just drizzle it on and you are soaking down this glass. Now, what you may have seen me do on previous videos is I have mixed my glass with the Mod Podge and I've not added water to it. This one, I have added water to it. I'm not doing one-to-one, -one, um, but I've probably mixed um, one part Mod Podge to maybe half water. 
Mm. I need to put it up on cups real quick. And these are just spray paint lids. Oh, that's so cute. Oh my goodness, this is going to turn out so, so cute. And so the Mod Podge really does stick really well. So it's a great alternative to resin. And I don't really don't, don't know why I haven't used it more in the past for my, my um, crushed glass things. I want to be really careful not to disturb any of the glass um, when I brush this on. You can kind of tilt it, but I just am trying not to be so disruptive because I want to maintain that that shape. And I am, I am just spreading it around a little bit more. And there goes my trunk. Okay, we have enough confetti, or not the confetti, but the little green sugar sprinkles. We don't really need a whole lot. So now we just need to let this dry. And it might take a day, day or so. I'm going to set this aside and let it dry. I want to make sure I don't lose my shape. Okay, I'm gonna set this aside. This dry. Well, this dried just beautifully, and using the Mod Podge is giving me a, I think, a much better effect than resin would have. Um, so now I need to add the red stripes and I'm going to use this fabric paint, deep red, the tulip, I don't know, I would rather use like a something blingy like rhinestone, um, you know, like a rhinestone riprap, but I think I just practice a little bit. I think this paint will, will be fine. It's very thick. Um, so I'm just going to kind of maybe I'm, I'm not going to try to copy it exactly, but um, Need a steady hand. Hmm? Love it.
This really is like icing a cookie. Mm -hmm. I think this is actually very adorable. I am going to let this dry and then I don't know how long it'll take, but I'm going to let it dry and maybe go back over with one more, one more layer. This is supposed to be kind of like puffy paint. It's fabric paint, but it'll, it'll stick. All right. So I'm just going to set this aside and let it dry and come back pretty close. So what do you think? This is the real Little Debbie Christmas tree, and this is my version. Can't hardly tell the difference. <laughs> so all done. I love this one. Just going to put a hanger on the back, and that way if someone could hang it up or use it as a leaner. Very, very sturdy. Yeah, really quite pleased with the Mod Podge method. So here you go. Give it a try. Now I'm going to go eat my little Debbie cake. Yum.